guys in the area. I tweeted Trayton second place. Catastrophe from Chicago in third. Phantom in fourth place. Patrick put his head on the track. I hear some party noise. Oh, what, the, what is that? Oh, yeah. So he's having a party to try, ladies and gentlemen. Man, he is having a party at the middle of our race. Oh, Possum Frog is out there. Omnicore like that, certainly not by hitting a tight end. I think that the, uh, I might want to have a look at that. I didn't appreciate that. That was in my face. Yeah. Then you might want to hand out something for that. The green is finished right now. Um, uh, green flag now, though. Well, wait a second. We have the track back in order. And it looks like the murder banana car from last year is crashing my party. It looks like he's got some, uh, he's got some rain droppers attached to his car. DJ Party Crasher. We have an applause for Army Court of Shrike. Oh, handshake. He's giving me a handshake, ladies and gentlemen. An Irish handshake from Army Court. Meanwhile, Fubar, yet again, another caution. Back on the track. We can't keep track of what's going on in this race right now. There's so much happening. Oh, the tail is coming back out. And we're going to have a green flag now. Green flag. All right, so let's give a break down the leaders. Patrick, try to keep an eye out for anything happening. Check while I do this. We're in first place, Nimby Ferrari, already 49 laps completed. Second place, your hometown heroes, I3 Detroit. Third place, from Grand Lake Garage, Car Catastrophe. Fourth place, Thanks to Power Racing. Fifth place, now, Hack to the Future. Sixth place, Moraki Major Station's Motor Source Rex, right there. Seventh place, Iron Rose, also from Moraki Maker Space. Eighth place, Lucky 13. Julie Meeker Band, because of their issues with the car, is now in ninth place and falling. Oh. Meanwhile, some craziness going on in the back of the track. Really close cars in there. Mostly caused by the murder banana. The murder banana is a car that it's the dead it's the dead for the moment, what that is. <laughs> the murder banana is out there for fun, ladies and gentlemen. Audi Bolt Detroit always likes to throw a party on a racetrack. And we let them do it. Give it a little bit extra to mix in the middle of this race. We send the tip of the Milwaukee car. We are all hands active. Caution flag is out for all hands active. <laughs> Yet again, no problems. Unfortunate. But maybe with your Moxie points, things can, uh, things can improve for them. But right now, caution flag is out for that. We can bring it back on the way. Source Rex will take the green. And we are back underway. Low Source Rex taking the green flag. We have Sarah Hoffman driving Catastrophe right now. Blaze Lake working on the outside of Low Source Rex. Oh, and a little bit of pressure on the Tyler Chini. That was a bit wild. Oh, and the wind is spinning in the morning. Meanwhile, Blaze Lake Garage putting down last catastrophe, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely keeping it consistent. Looks like we have another caution out. Caution flag is out again. Looks like we had an incident there towards the back of the field. Meanwhile, there's a lot of balloons going on. A lot of bubbles out of flag. We have some really tight racing out there. Maybe still in first place. Are we about to head of I3 to Detroit? Clark has to be in third place. Phantom not far behind on them. Back to the future. They're going to have to go a little further in miles per hour if they're going to want to catch up to Mindy Glider in great place. First place, Rick, six. Not doing so good. McCoy has got a problem here now. Oh, damn. They're looking for a push. And looks like Alvico is trying to help out Matilda. He's giving him a push. Round of applause for Alvico for being good teammates. Good, great help for them. That 
That's right. One of the best things about the Fall Racing Series is that it's a collaborative sport. So I have no idea how we're going to get back to pit lane this way. Those little cars are going to have to slow down. This will be interesting, folks. <laughs>
Looks like Fubo Labs is dancing along to Omni Club's party. Keeping it together. Phantom being very careful to overtake. Phantom's playing good. A really good strategy. They're keeping it home. Oh, and second place after the strike still. That's a caution. Caution flag is out. That's a big spill. He's the driver. Oh, right. It looks like he's got un pads, knee pads. Yeah, the driver's fine. It's the car. The second place car. We're going to go back to green. Uh -huh. Terrible and unfortunate. That means we have power racing to take second place from I-3. Hey, look. Phantom can pass now, I-3. Phantom now moving up to second place. Second place now for Phantom Power Racing. That unfortunate wreck. It just looks like driver error. I'm not sure what happens to I-3 to trigger, but they just hit the first all by themselves. I'm not sure how that happened even, but it's an absolute disaster for a second place car. They fell all the way to third place instead of an answer partially and perhaps the boat. Oh, I'm the rumor of shame for I-3 Detroit. The heartbreak there, the sadness, there's something wrong with the flow. And lap by lap, it's falling apart for them right now. As they now fall to fifth place as Hack to the Future has now taken fourth place from I-3 Detroit. Oh, oh, that is such a shame. They were doing so well, but now they're going to have to fight back up to the track. And it's going to be a hard battle for them. They're having to make three laps up to them. And we have a caution in back. I'm not sure how that caution is. Oh, it's Shitty Nicky Man popping it yes again. Is that a fuse again? He's not sure what's up, ladies and gentlemen, but Shitty Nicky Man. We're underway again. It's very important to driver change. Two minutes to driver change. And our second driver's seat, ladies and gentlemen, is about to go under. Just a few minutes left. But now, Lindy's out again, just behind back to the future. 
head for the future in third place. Patrick, that was a fantastic pit stop from Phantom Power Racing. They got out ahead of the leaders. They are gaining on the leader now. They are, they, they've actually set a faster lap time than Mimi has. But also in three near Patrick. They'll be able to get the chance with the fastest lap in the race for at 16.412. All hands active, we've got a good movement on the track. Looks like Aha, all hands active again with Lee. Getting a slow start. Patrick, I'm starting to think all here, AHA sounds for uh, always hitting anything at this point. And yet, as I say, they're still trying to throw underway. They're doing their best to get the car moving, but it's just not agreeing with them. It's unstable. It's cool it's not, the wheels are huddling there. It's pretty impressive. They're driving the wheels off of that car. Phantom Power Racing trying to get through. It is a mess of cars back here, Patrick. It's pretty intense right now. Poor Hack of the Future is uh, caught behind though, and back to there. Meanwhile, Phantom is trying to make up the difference. Trying to gain on Mindy Ferrari, but right now Mindy is trying